of Miss Brittany. It's your week. This week is all about you. Like, come on through, cookie. Yeah. I want to put my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What, cookie? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 6, Episode 5. This is the Britney. Britney B. This is her. Her episode. See, I've been real lenient and kind of laying back because I didn't know what to really make of Britney B. Girl, you are a fraud. You are a complete fraud. You are a fake. All those things that you were saying about other people. Those were all just deflection. You talk about yourself. You ain't shit. Just ridiculous. All that BP and PP. I said, is she kidding me? Look, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Let's go down this, this little thing here. We open right up with the whole Zella Paris situation where Brittany B is having them kicked out of the bowling party. And it's all... On the strength of the fact that Paris and K. Michelle has an issue. Later on when she actually met up with K. Michelle, K. Michelle wasn't even happy that you even did that. She didn't even know why you were doing it. And throughout the episode, I kept seeing scenes where K. was like, K. ain't never been on board with none of your bullshit. Like, she's not. And I'm like, mm, mm. She was like, I don't even know why she would think I would need somebody to help me with battling with Paris. Kay ain't even battling with Paris. That stuff is like water under the bridge. Kay don't want no more problems with Paris. Paris done threw that cup at Kay and all that. She's done with that. So she wasn't trying to drum that back up, but that's what you're doing. Then um, Kay told her, you need to talk to Lyrica because Lyrica is a friend of mine, you know? And told her, when we go to this event with Jason Lee, I ain't for no garbage. I'm the host, and I'm not for no garbage. So you out there trying to windmill when somebody's telling you, I ain't even in no windmill of mood. And it seems like you be starting a lot of shit. And that's what it said. You do a lot of shit talking, a lot of dragging, a lot of putting people down, and I'm not seeing what's so great about you that you get to put other people down, but we're going to get to that too. Anyway, so we end up seeing, Lord have mercy, big Lyrica. Lyrica has decided to go on a couple of tour dates with her husband, and they were dropping off the baby to big Lyrica. Big Lyrica, where in the hell? Did you find that wig? That wig looked like it been up underneath a bed, up underneath some boxes since the summer of 74. A mess. A mess. I was like, girl, that Jerry Curl wig is terrible, honey. Your Jerry is so very messy. I hated it. And she just, you know, that's her though. She spends time I believe wanting to look a mess. I don't I, I don't I don't get it. That was ugly. That wig was very very ugly, very old and very uh, it gave me very under the bed tease. Anyway, I hated it. Um moving on. Princess and Ray. Now, we're just literally just grasping at straws for a storyline, really. So, Bugatti is the storyline now. Cuz that's all I gathered. Somebody stole Ray's dog. Okay. They stole the dog from Sonia and Mr. Uh, Norwood. They were supposed to be dog sitting. And someone came by and snatched Bugatti. Y'all got it on camera. But now y'all want us to believe that y'all done went all out in the park looking and all that. 
So really and truly, Ray and Pranky ain't got nothing going on. And this is going to be the storyline. And then I see that Princess, you trying to get something going with Sonya Norwood. Is that it? Because you trying to place the blame on Sonya Norwood. You keep calling Sonya Norwood out. You done did it two, three times in this episode. You think we don't know that we're going to end up seeing Sonya Norwood in a minute? Because you know she don't play what you like that. So this is this is the whole Pranky and Ray Ray. That this is what y'all doing. Y'all gonna troll us and tell y'all can get Sonya freed up to come on the show. Whatever. That's real corny. But anyway, moving on. Now, Slick and Mickey. So now we actually get to actually meet Slick, which is Mickey Monday's girlfriend. And Mickey, I like you. But I'm going to say that you don't really like Slick as much as you say you do. And it does seem as though you're with Slick for clout chasing purposes. Um... That's what I see. That's what I see. I, I just, because she got it going on and you're trying to get it going on. And I just don't feel like you like her as much as she likes you. You like Trish. But you can't have Trish because Trish belongs to Acorn. Trish ain't shit. And you'll never have Trish. You can always be Trish's boy toy. I, I see that. I think she'll screw you some more if if you, you know, if you let her. She like laying with you when Akon allows it. So I think that um, you can have that going on, but you'll never have Trish. I believe you really do like Trish, though. But Trish don't like you, baby. And Trish is one of those people. She don't want that slick, honey. She's not going to let slick win. At all. She she's not doing that. You're not gonna play that game. She would like to have you as a boy toy and you sit over here and you wait on her and she called you and lap ride you when she wants to. And other than that, she'll just drag you along like a little puppy. And you may want to just go ahead and get on down with that. Cause um in the midst of all this, you're gonna mess around and lose what you got going on with Slick and Slick's gonna end up hating you, is what's gonna happen. Y'all are not even gonna be friends, trust me. The way you're going, it ain't a good look. Moving on. Seth kept on sitting over there every time. He was all the, the whole while we did the package where we were getting to know Slick. You keep talking about Trish. Why? Nobody gives a shit about Trish. Anyway, I, I just, I, you know, I just see Trish as a self centered slut, but you know, whatever. Moving on. So, April. April, Paris, and Zell sit down, and out of your mouth comes, and you know, because I'm sick of this too, out of your mouth comes, well, Drew isn't putting his penis in me yet. Enough said. Enough said. Then you you basically said, me, you know, you're setting it up. Me and Monice are not friends. I feel like the whole thing is strange. You know, everybody's going on about the Brit. You know, I agree with y'all with the Britney thing. Britney was and hasn't been nice to you. Brit Britney's a hater. That's that's all I'm getting. Like we went through all this stuff that Britney was so talented, and I was really wanting to see her show her talents in all of this. She is a hater. She's a hater. Flat out. Nobody is doing anything good unless she got something to do with it. The bitch is a narcissist. And I can't stand a narcissist. I can't stand a bitch that can't say that somebody is talented and, and give somebody their flowers. Ain't nothing no good unless you play a part in it. That's irritating. And those people grow very tiresome. Anyway, moving on. So we get that. Then Fizz sits down with Boog, and he tells Boog ain't nothing going on yet. Yet. Both of y'all got the yets. April and, and Fizz, y'all got the yets, because y'all lying. Y'all lying, y'all been fucking, and that's all that's to it. And Boog is worried about his bag. He don't care nothing about it, really. He's worried about this Three, what does he say? Three point four million dollars that he could make if the tour go all the way through. 
He ain't trying to have y'all fighting and carrying on tearing up his bag. Mess. Then Borg meets up with Marcus Houston, and I'm laughing, and I'm like, oh, he kind of looked the same. He just looked like the older version of he what he used to look like. It's like, oh, hey, Marcus. Anyway, but then now Borg's trying to move into this whole executive moving thing, wanting to move pieces around. He's trying to get immature onto a tour. Yeah, you might as well do something to make you some money because this little thing you got going on, I don't know how well that's going to do and how long it's going to last with all this drama going on around it. And then, like I said, we seen Ray and all of them and their bull crap and about they offered $20,000 for Bugatti and then they princess uh, they then got a psychic and the psychic talking about they, she see the dog and the people hold it for ransom and they want more money than twenty. I'm telling y'all now, that little storyline is going to make me drag Ray and Princess. And when we get Sonya in there and it just becomes this whole little thing that looked like they sat around their dinner table and wrote it up, I'm going to drag the whole family, I'm telling you. So prepare yourselves for that. Whatever week that falls, I promise you there's going to be a good, loving, hip-hop, Norwood family dragon. It's going to happen. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Let's go to Jason's event. So we get to the event. Kay is hosting. Brittany shows up, still spitting that venom. And I'm looking at Kay's face. It's like, do you notice that every scene she's in, she starts this, this spitting this venom and talking about people. She's always talking about people. And it's always negative. And it's that narcissistic bullshit. And do you not real? well, the, most narcissists don't get it because they'll be sitting somewhere and everybody around them is just kind of looking at them like, And they don't even clock it. They just love the attention. And they're like. Meanwhile, everybody's looking at you like you're a freaking idiot. So she ain't clocking it. Jason Lee's looking at her like she's stupid. K. Michelle's looking at her like she's stupid. Um, then A1 and Lyrica show up. A1 and Jason go back and forth a little bit. And Lyric is like, you know, it just wasn't fair. Why did you do that? You said you would give me some time, but you really didn't do it. Jason's like, no, I apologize, Jason. You shady. You, and you're a backpeller and a pussy popper, too. Because Jason's like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I, I should have did that. This, that, and the other. Then he got the confessional. was like, if I had to do it again and it comes up again, I'm going to do it again. And I was like, see, this is why, again, Jason, you ain't never going to have friends. That's just all it's to it. You grab me. You're very grimy, and you're not very loyal, and you're not going to have any friends. Not at all. So, that, not, you know, not industry folks, not like that. It, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think the only one that you may not do that to is Floyd, and that's because of that. That's because of that. And, and Floyd might punch you in your shit, but, you know... That's, I don't know, but everybody else don't stand a chance with Jason. Jason, you bear watching. Anyway, moving on. Um, so there was a the whole thing. He, A1, wanted Lyrica to close the show. So he's like, okay, that's no problem. I'll make that happen. Britney's face was cracked. Britney's face was cracked because Lyrica then rolled right in and was like, I'm not opening for her. I'm not opening for her. I'll close the show. She opened for me. I was like, okay. So I'm laughing when Brittany do her set. She was so cracked at the fact that she had to go. She was supposed to be the last artist, and now she got to go first. And then she's talking about how her music is so fierce and her vocals. What vocals did you talk about, Ma? Because I ain't heard nothing. I ain't heard you whoop, whoop, not one time that made me sit up. I was sitting there like, okay. narcissistic bullshit because I'm um, sorry I listen to Lyrica's music and I'll pick up a Lyrica CD before I pick up a Britney B CD sorry sis it's the truth um but you had a lot to say about Lyrica and her vocals and I'm like mm -mm. your your vocals didn't if I had to pick between one of you all it wouldn't be a Britney B special anyway whatever um, 
So we had that good one. Then Trish, Mickey, and Slick all run into each other. And Trish sound like a dumb bitch off of YouTube. Okay? She she just fit right in with the foolishness that goes on on YouTube when you got the people that say, I don't really listen to her. But then they can sit around and regurgitate everything that the person said in their video. You know, that bullshit. And Trish started that. I only see a little bit. Bitch, you saw his whole set. You saw his whole set, you plastic whore. You seen all of it. Didn't take your eyes off of him. So stop with the bullshit, okay? And you sat there trying to, you shaded him and was disrespectful to him. Then you were disrespectful to Slick. And Mickey, you let her do it. You let her do it. And then you try to talk Slick out of having an attitude at the fact that this plastic whore is standing in her face being disrespectful. You're a clown, Mickey. And I, again, like I said, I like you, but I'll stop liking you because that was very weak. And I didn't care for that at all. I didn't care for it at all. You're going to sit up and try to have me downplay myself to this whore? I don't even think so, pal. But Slick's a lot nicer than I, I am because I'd have punched you in your chest, Becky. But anyway, moving on. And Slick looked like the chest punching type, honey. Uh, a little rough around the edges, Miss Slick. Yes. Anyway, moving on, honey. But Trish looked real stupid. Just like the, when the YouTubers do it and tell those lies. You look stupid. Anyway, moving on. So then Brittany, this is here we go. Okay, wait, let me get let me get comfortable with this bitch. Brittany rolled her ass up there. You like a YouTuber too. Cause you'd have been running around town for five episodes. Well, four and a half episodes. Talking mad major shit on Lyrica. And as soon as you seen her up close. You squash the beef in that amount of time and hugging. I said, bitch, I know good and well you ain't backpedaling the pussy popping. Not all that shit that you was talking. And then Lyra conflicted on you. Oh, no, I don't have no, no uh, issue with you, honey. I don't have no issue with you. And hugged her. And then Lyra said, I don't have an issue with you either, girl. The issue that I have is with why do you have an issue with my girlfriend, Sia? Now that's where I have an issue. I said, oh, oh. Girl, now you on, now you put on the spot. And now you looking stupid. You all say the thumbnail. I said, do tell, do tell. So now let me break, because I had to run this back quite a few times to get a full understanding of the foolishness that had actually went on here. So what I gather is that Brittany was friends, or not really friends, she was acquaintances with Sia, okay? Sia, as we know, Sia and Lyrica are friends, okay? A1 and Lyrica are popping in Atlanta. They were popping, okay? Brittany wanted to meet and get to work with Lyrica. Sia, being cool, made that happen. Okay? They actually did a song together. And like Lyrica said, they actually went out one time to the gym together. You know, they were like building something. But she, you know, Sia made all that happen. While that was being done, Brittany tried to cause turmoil between. Lyrica and Sia basically try to take Sia's friend is what she did, which is, uh, you know, key to a narcissistic bitch because a narcissistic bitch can only have one friend. They got to control everything. So she, I'll make her be my friend. Now I'm going to push Sia on out of the way. Now keep in mind, y'all know Sia writes music and stuff too. So that was that. So. Lyrica talked to her friend. That's the thing that Brittany didn't 
didn't really know what the friendship really was, how deep the friendship between Lyrica and Sia was. Lyrica and Sia talked. I said, that girl you introduced me to, she's talking shit the whole time. Like, what was that all about? Sia said, oh, really, bitch? So she contacted Brittany. Brittany then blocked Sia and wouldn't talk to Sia anymore because she was basically caught up in her shit. And she was, you know, shit was fucked up. And then at that point, begun talking shit on Lyrica. So she's been bumping and bouncing around town, talking shit on Sia and Lyrica this whole time. And just now you don't come to Hollywood where Lyrica is and you back in Lyrica circle and you talking shit. And you're dragging her, just dragging her. And, oh, she's fake and, and making everybody believe that they done something to you. When meanwhile, you did it. You tried to ruin their friendship and tried to garner a new friendship with Lyrica. And Lyrica wasn't here for it. It blew up in your face. So instead of saying, I just fucked it up or being quiet, you decided to drag them and make it as though they had done something. Oh, their whole crew is fake. No, the only fake bitch that there is, is you. And you got busted in it. And then you sat on screen and started going, at, and when her and Sia started going at it, I just looked at her and that's when it was really told, girl, you are trash. You're trash. When you said, well, it was like six years ago. I don't really even remember. I said, bing, 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 bing. Hashtag BP and PP. You backpedaling a pussy popper with this lying shit so much you don't, uh, you don't remember. You remember what you said? I heard enough of the last four episodes to notice somebody ought to run you over with a damn car. You ain't shit. You are a trash ass bitch. You really, really are. And you ain't never going to have no friends. Everybody need to be leery and weary of you. I kept saying something with you was not connected with me. And I just could not put my finger on it. But now we know you're a trash ass bitch. A trashy, narcissistic, shady, clown of a bitch. Horrible. And then steady trying to kiss Lyrica's ass. Because see, Lyrica's the more popular one. Because you're on her show. You're new. Lyrica done been here for a few seasons. Lyrica's on the opening credits and has been. It done all blew up in your face and it ain't looking so good. You're trash. Pure trash. She's the, you're just mad, Sid, because she's the better writer than you. No, she's trash. Remember, that's what you said. Her vocals ain't no good. Her writing ain't no good. Is she living off her husband's name? Ain't that what you said? Four episodes, that's what you said. Girl, if you don't get your ass out of here, Brittany, girl, pack your shit up and go on back to Atlanta. You're trash here. Trash. You're done in Hollywood. Go on where you came from. Trash.